What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. You already know it's me, Jerry, you're watching Where's Garage, and I got a video for you guys on how to install the Quartz Sport short shifter onto your Mazda Speed 3. I'm gonna get into that, how to do that, and let's open it and see what's in it. Okay, so this is the Quartz Sport short shifter. That's what it comes in box. Let's open it in one hand. So, this is, it comes with a core sports sticker and this is your instructions onto the short shifter. This is your short shifter right here. And I'm guessing uh, you get like a knob with it, they put it in here. I think I already have a, you guys know, cob knob. So this is the, so this is what it looks like. Got the blue. I seen they have a red, but when I was picking the, pick, picking the option, uh, they didn't have the red, it just, it just showed blue. But I'm cool with this. I like the blue color too. The red would've been cool and it'll kind of match my car, because you guys know my car is red. But yeah, but this is the short shifter. It's nice, I like the color though. I like how it's made. And this is your, um, you can adjust your, uh, your shift, your, what, like what throw you want on it. But let's get into putting this bad boy on. All right, the first step is you want to take this off, which I already popped it off, but I got a, a, a flathead. Got a flathead and put it between right here and I just kind of went in and probably like that. Then this part, this corner came up and I just used my hands to just pry it up carefully because you don't want to break them, break the tabs. But um, yeah, you just pull up around the tab then you pull it out like this, set it to the side. And my flashlight, my garage, not much light, and yeah. Oh man, it's real dirty in here. Goodness. Yep. All right, next step is, of course you pop this up, but you wanna unscrew, if you have a knob or a stock knob, but you just unscrew it. Just go like this. And sorry for the mess, guys, my car's dirty. Look at the detail, I'm just, I just recently moved and, just have all my stuff, but yeah. So just, and you unscrew the knob, so it should be able to pull up. All right, I have it out, but this is the plugs. So here's the plugs right here. There's a, you have your cigarette lighter. Already pulled that one out, but you have these two plugs right here. There's a gray and white one. The gray one is on to the, to the right, and the right one is on to the left. So just remember that when you, uh, you guys pull them out. But it, it looks, yeah, it looks like they might can get mixed up, but just to just to, you know, just kind of remember to uh, what what side they go to. So let's I'm pull these out and pull it out. All right, I pop these off the, sh the shift linkages. I forgot the tool, but it's like a, it's like a fork. So what I did, I used a size 13 wrench, and you, it fits perfect under here. And you just I just pulled down like this down. Um, be careful though by doing this, but I just pulled down and they, they both popped up. Um, so next step is um, there should be four tins. There's one right here. There's one right here. There's one right there. And there's one right here. So I'm gonna take those off. Then when you, once you take those off, the whole simile should come out. All right. There's these tabs right here. The where the short shifters. Uh, they go click it right here and there's one right here but there's two tabs on top of them there's one right here there's one right here and what i did was i got one of these a pick and i just went like this open i will uh have one hand pulling up on this and the other just just 
put the, you push the clip in this way and pull up and then the one side will come up and the other one you just do the other one the other side and just pick up and they both uh, shit pops up and there's one on this side too there's two clips on this side too so just do the same thing of that and it should come out and then once you get those out the whole it should come out there's a there's a like a clap uh, tab right there so let me get that out then the whole thing should pull out all right, there's this clip, right? This like ring thing that goes in like this, like this. You take the torque, the screw, the torques. See, the star one is torques. But me, I forgot my torques set. So what I did was I got this. It's like perfect around the bolt. It's, at least it's it gets at least like four or five, and I turn it and it got it out. So that's what I did. So the next step is to all right to take this off so this can slide out. But the way to get this, this says uh, get a pick. Um, Let me get my pick. Hold on. So the, so the way to get this off, it says to get a, a flathead and a pick. And you, what you do is you go behind it go behind it kind of give it pressure and then there's these little tabs all the way around you just pick it up uh, all the way around till it comes out so that's that's what it says to do so I'm gonna do that uh, and get back to you guys see got it out just you want to get a fly head and just kind of pry behind it this way going this way um, so you can use this to pick take uh, oh uh, to pick up so they can go over the this part right here. You just do all the way around to it to it comes out. So next, this you see, this should comes out. This slides out. And you and this part right here, you take this off so you can take off the spring. And there you go. Have the spring out. This this goes the spring goes in which you guys will see on yours. First, this, you can use your hand, just pops out. And then, I got a flat hand, just pry it behind here. Pry this out, then I slid it out. So next step is now, uh, this whole thing right here, there's there's three tabs on top of this. Uh, there's, let's see, there's one right here, there's one right here. There's one way back here you can't probably can't see it but there's one back there so this part are seen as as kind of a pain so um i'm trying to find a good way to do it so i can show you guys to do it when you guys get to this point so i'm gonna get take this out and get back to you guys all right guys see and i got it out what i did was there's three tabs. There's two. There's an easy one, but there's two in the back. It's hard. Again, like get a flathead or a, your pick. And when I, when you open the tabs, slide one of these in. Slide, I guess three of them. Slide this one. I slide one. Well, all three of them. You slide. You open the tab. Put this in so it doesn't. So the tab doesn't close. And you do that to all three of them. Then just pull up and it, com it comes right out. Yeah, uh, it came out pretty pretty good. So next step is you just take this bucket off right here. Take it off, see? Okay. And that's it. And next step is putting in the cop court sport or yeah, court sport um short shifter. So let me oh yeah, you gonna get some lube lubrication. Uh it says to use white, but I have some other ones, it's the same thing, you should do the thing, but you wanna loop everything up that was has, has all this stuff all right here, all right in there. I'm gonna loop it up pretty good, so I'll get back to you guys. Alright, this is what I got. I got the silicone paste. It's the same thing. Probably this would probably be better to use, but there's lubricates, it's safe on metal, uh, rubber, and plastic parts, which there's some plastic parts on here too. So, but I heard this is pretty good to use. So, I'm gonna use this. I'm gonna put everything back together. Um, I'm not probably gonna record me putting it back together because it's the same thing as just reverse. So, I'm gonna lube everything up. 
put it, put everything back together, then get back to you guys. All right, have the quartz port went in. Like I said, in all those places you've seen that has the lube stuff on it, you want to loop the whole thing up. I loop, loop the bucket, the 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 ball on the um on the court sport the bottom like you want to loop everything up i won't even loop this up too and this too i'm gonna loop this up to loop everything that's going to be on it and possibly moving around that's what you want to uh loop up stuff that's moving around you want to loop that up you don't want nothing to go dry and then mess up, up so like i said you just it's reverse you put everything back loop everything up uh, then uh this 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 goes back in but first before you put that in you put your your spring loop this up too i'm trying i'm gonna do it too but loop this up and loop this up inside so i'm gonna loop pack it down with lube put the things back on and come back to you guys okay spring is in see this is spring there's a spring, there's a little white piece that goes on to in it. And I got what I did was I just looped the whole thing up in the little black thing that sits, the spring sits on. I looped the whole thing up. And what I did was, cause it's gonna be kind of not a pain, but you're gonna be struggling with it. But I got the flathead and open the spring like this, and you put over the grooves on the shifter. Then I just put the grooves in first. Then I just pushed the. You see, you see how they come up from the. So here I just push them forward. Then, then I put the the round part and put it on. And boom, put it on, lube it up more. I put lube inside this thing. Then snapped it on. So next step is you put this piece back on. You just slide it in. It goes. You slide this in like this, like that. Then. Uh, snapped onto that part but I'm gonna um loop loop this the shaft right here and I'm gonna use loop in here so I'll put everything back on oh yeah and then when you punch when you put everything back when you slide that back on you put this piece back on so I'm gonna do that right now and then get back to you guys okay and there we go looped everything up have everything in looped up in here loop the little shaft up right here loop this piece up right here and then you just snap it on looped everything in here I'm gonna loop the ball tube here once I put it back in the car. But like, yeah, instructions it says to loop everything up that's moving around. So all the stuff is moving around. You want to have that looped up. You don't want that be shifting where everything's dry. Uh, some some of you guys might say, how come I got this course board shifter but not the bushings? I forgot about to get to order those, but they are on their way. Um, so when they get here, I'm gonna show you guys. I put those in I wish I thought of it and ordered both at the same time that I could just I could have just put put the shifter and the bushings in but dummy forgot to get that so when those come in I'll show you guys how to put that on and two I'm gonna get the the um, course the course port plate for the transmission for the transmission from the other shifters in the front so I, I, you can adjust those in the front you can adjust this this is this you can adjust this how how you want how hard you want to throw but till then let's put this bad boy back in the car and i get back to you guys all right we're back in the car so pretty much like i said it just reversed you're putting everything back in the car yeah when i get back let me open it back from this corner i'm gonna get a vacuum and i'm gonna clean this all out and vacuum this up but yeah like i said it's just reverse you want to put um everything back uh, where you had it so let's do that um it's, it's in the car so i don't know there's a way i can um mount this but i'm just gonna put everything back and um show you guys what i did but these right here you want to loop these up too with the little balls because you know see it's right here loop it had a little bit of lubrication on, on it but like i said it's gonna be moving around and shifting back all right guys everything is in i have the linkage right here and this one is in and two i almost forgot don't forget this uh ring that goes around the the bucket of the shifter uh i almost forgot 
All right, guys, I have everything back in the car. I did what you can see. I have everything back and connected. Make sure your connectors is back to where they were supposed to be. But yeah, I have everything back, and it's look, it feels it feels real good. It feels real good. Barely even going on up and down. Like it's it's shit real good. And even when you put the the reverse, it's even the reverse feel like it's not even going in, but it's in. But yeah, I I, I like it. I like it. It feels real good. But yeah, but that's how you guys install you guys core sport short shift into your car and your Mazda Speed 3. Um, like I said, I wish I would have was thinking and got the bushing too. Or, or I could have just did the bushings and the short shifter and show you guys that. But uh, I learned from my mistakes. So I will, like I said, I have that on order. So I'll make a video of me just putting those in. And um, like I said, I'm going to get the the um the core sport shifter plate that goes in the front by the transmission so i'll have the whole core sport um little shifter and stuff like that so it, it can even be more even better shifting but till then uh like i said i got um the core sport passenger motor mount that i'm going to put in so stay tuned for that video and i still got other stuff coming too so you guys stay tuned like the video Comment to what you guys think about the video. Subscribe if you know, if you haven't yet. Um, but till then, thanks for watching. See you soon.